All right, I've spent enough time with Flane, I think. This was really fun. Unfortunately, the tea time has to end. Goodbye, Flane. That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. I will. Oh, she is precious. They enjoyed our time. We enjoyed our time together. Yes, we did. Hmm. Oh. Good to me. Oh, okay, we're seeing this again. Let's do it. It's been a while. Good enough, Professor. Excellent. Ooh, E plus. I'm the hang of it. My efforts have borne fruit. Ooh, new magic. Such a day. Fantastic. What do we have today? Lorenz would like to speak to me, sure. Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? While um, you have a great many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? Yeah, Lorenz, I don't think you should be writing my lectures for me. It's about the female students. What's this about, Byleth? The ladies have complained? To you? About me? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Hmm. I don't recall. Are you the, um... I mean... I'm, I'm mostly just shocked it'd be about you and not Sylvain. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. I mean, you certainly act like it, I suppose. But I'm gonna need you to, um, still watch yourself. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. Mmm, I don't think so. If that is the crime, I do confess. I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. <laughs> Is your advances they seem to find troubling? Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? Hilda? Mary? Oh, a ball of them. Of all the. Well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. You see, when you call it that, I don't I think it does the opposite of what you intended to do. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. Yeah, I think I see where all these complaints are coming from. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. Go figure. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have... On occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations in the fashion and style of a gentleman. Mm, and the pieces continue to fall together. That is the problem. What? Ridiculous! Dinner invitations for me? A problem? The very idea. Well, repeated dinner invitations. I am a perfect gentleman, the son of a noble line. I have a wit like a rapier, and it takes but a glance to see that I'm gorgeous. Mm. I don't personally see it, but I'm sure someone out there does. No, I cannot believe such a thing. Are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme? I'm it pretty sure. Otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. That seems like a lot of, you know, a likely option. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. Crude indeed. Please, Professor, it is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene <laughs> tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Do I have to give you detention? Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. And <laughs> sweat drop. <laughs> Byleth just... I don't even know what face that is. Just a bewildered look. That's it.
That's an interesting support. Oh, hey. I never realized we actually could see their interests, likes, and dislikes. Tactical scheming and planning feasts. Likes feasts. Long rides, archery, and topics of curiosity. Dislikes blind reliance on gods and leaving things to chance. And being bound by common sense. <laughs> oh, Claude. Von Regan. You don't like coffee? I'm sorry, Lorenz. I just I can't get behind you anymore. Interest in monitoring Claude. Uh, uh, worthy woman, oh my god. Anything that befits the nobility. Pure protein, muscles, training, and all his baby sister. Hates book learning and unfinished meals. Interests her bodybuilding and eating. See, this is why I love you. Painting and collecting art supplies. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't like lightning. <laughs> Eating sweets secretly. Of course. Sweets, cute things, and lilies. She is adorable and she clearly a grown up. <laughs> Being treated like a child. Anything physically laborious, ghosts, and bitter foods. <laughs> oh, she's the heir to House Ordelia. It likes praying and talking to animals. The goddess, birds, and other animals reading in delicate flowers. Oh my god. That is depressingly sad. Dislikes herself. And crests, interestingly enough. Oh, man. I need to remove that dislike off her list somehow. Well, that was all interesting. And we have a support. Sylvain and Lorenz, huh? Sure. To find the analog of your beauty in nature, I can turn only to the lily. Only that flower is so sweet and so delicate as to approach your loveliness. You know who loves the lilies? Uh, Lysithia. Apparently. And yes, I can already see, um, why you and Sylvain might get along. I just look at these soft, delicate fingertips you have. It is as though they could blossom into fragrant lilies before my very eyes. Oh, Lorenz, this is, um... How can I say it kindly? If you're so wild about flowers, why don't you try a flower shop? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was... I'm sorry I saw that, but I am so glad I saw that. Yeah, Sylvain, could you help him, please? Oh, did you not realize? I was only testing her. Of course. Any woman who is taken in by such simple flattery is ill-suited to my noble disposition. Oh, Lorenz, we need to have a talk. Oh, okay, I'm glad you explained it, because I thought you just got rejected. Just flat out, no way to make yourself feel better about it, rejected. Yeah, that was, uh, I think that's the interpretation most people would have. And the reason, your nobleness, is because that is really not the way you go about hitting on a girl. Though I'm not sure if you should be taking advice from Sylvain. Oh, is it not? And I suppose you consider yourself an expert on the subject. Yeah, I think he might. Pay attention, kid. Maybe you'll learn something. This should be I interesting. You. I just had to come over and say hello. Because finding you here uh, feels like fate. Well, it's definitely better than the lilies from the fingertips. Maybe we could go get some tea. Get to know each other better. I think you must have mistaken me for someone else. Someone who cares. Please excuse me. Ooh. And shuts down. Exquisite. Simply masterful. When is the wedding? That's weird. Girls usually fall for that speech. You must have spooked her. 
Oh, I thought you just got rejected. Flat out rejected, is what Lorenz is probably going to say. To think that the noble house Gautier would be blessed with such a graceful and charming heir. <laughs> I can see how they'll bond over their collective failure to uh, woo anyone. Please, I'm a much better heir than a self-important failure like you. Oh, damn. And the fangs come out. This is not worth my time. This is support, right? You took the words right out of my mouth. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I want to go for a battle or uh, explore in this moment. Maybe I'll do explore this time and then battle next time. Because I have the seminar. Yeah. I'm gonna Bernadette to would enjoy um. a uh, tea time. Apparently not though, since I can't seem to do it. Still, I could give her uh, appreciated by everyone. I could give her owl feather. Oh, wow! Thank you so much. Oh, she loved it. Wonderful. Probably can't recruit her yet, though. Ooh, the fruit of life. Wonder what that does. Permanently increases HP by one. Cool. And finally, Professor level up to rank C. Both for instructing and exploration has increased, but unfortunately not for um combat. The number of adjutants you can deploy has increased. I are you? Do you mean um number of students, perhaps? Or perhaps you mean uh ooh, master classes have been unlocked. Recipe book uh, for cooking together is expanded. Ooh. A lot of stuff. Oh, here we go. Adjutants. Once you reach Professor Level C, you can assign an adjutant to follow you a uh, unit into battle. The number of adjutants you can assign per battle increases, but with your Professor Level. Okay. Depending on class. Can provide uh, one of three types of aid. Follow-up. Occasionally adds a follow-up attack. Oh, that's actually really useful, especially for uh, taking people when you uh, have multiple people you want to train, but, uh, you know, run out of room. Cool. Oh, sweet, we're up to three at a time. Let's do one of every type of flower. Ooh, scattered bone meal. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go for it. Ooh, you know, I haven't talked to Catherine before. Let's sit with Catherine and Ignatz, maybe. Yeah, I don't think they'll get her along, really. I do need more Bernadette points, though. But I should pick someone who actually really likes this. Yeah, let's go, um... Catherine... And... <laughs> Hanneman. No, we'll go Catherine and Flane. Always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody. You really are hardcore, aren't you, Catherine? This is nearly as delicious as mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Flane. I 
Unfortunately, that's all that happened. Let's continue cooking with Bernadette. Plus three HP for the rest of the month. Mm. Plus one speed. Plus one defense. I like the defense. Sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. Oh, of course, Bernadetta. And she immediately sets it on fire. A little more secret spice and hey, no peeking. Um, yes, yeah, secret spice does not mean lighting it on fire. <laughs> Glad she enjoyed that. Oh, you know, I have a hidden potential in faith. I should try and train that. Who could help me? Oh, we have supports. Oh, Byleth. And Flane. And Bernadette. <gasps> You should try listening when they're ready to speak with you. Excellent. I don't suppose you could train me in faith. Yes, you can. Wonderful. Ooh, I learned heal. Practice yields results. And I got a star. Can you train me more? Nope. Hey, Flane. Yes, you can speak to me, of course. Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Of course. Anything for you, Flane. Certainly. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. What do you want to know? You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Oh, and why is that? Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. Well, I have a... I'm uh, haunted by an adorable uh, goddess ghost in my head who talks to me sometimes. Um, I don't know how old I am. And I'm a mercenary who's now a teacher. When first we met, I am intrigued to say the least. She is so formal in her speech. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? I can't say. Have I? Have I, Byleth, been to the sea? A few times, yes. Yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Yeah, it really is unfathom unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. Well, unless it's truly it deep. Lands? But it is there all the same. She's waxing poetic, Byleth. Didn't you, didn't you hear her? About fish, of course. <laughs> oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying, isn't it? Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. Oh, well, I... I appreciate that you, uh... Consider me as such. My brother is uncertain of you, however. He referred to you as a youth of... Dubious origin. <laughs> that sounds just like Zetith. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. Well, that I do believe. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. 
Well, hopefully you can assuage his fears of me. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? Right, you can ask me anything but that. I don't actually know. Wait, you do not know your own age? <laughs> you truly are mysterious. <laughs> yes, there are a number of mysterious things happening in Regarding Byleth. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. Yeah. I wonder. Could you be younger than your own students? Probably not. If I had to guess, I'd say 20s. And how old are you, Flane? 13? Hey, me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. That is code for she is a bit younger. You look younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Flame, don't lie. Oh, by the way, I... I have actually been considering enrolling in the academy myself. You should do it, when you come of age. But my brother will not allow it. He is a touch overprotective. Actually, you're probably the same age as, like, uh, Lysithia or Bernadette. I'm sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. Of course, she could be much older than I think. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. Oh, thank you, Flane. Hi. Hi, Bernadette. Uh, um, can I recruit you? I, just, I mostly just want to remember what you require. Strength and bow, right. Then Dorothea was, um... Authority... And something. Was it authority and... S swords? Maybe. Here we go. Someone else who can do me, uh, help me in faith. Unfortunately, only the once. Ooh, summon our time. Can I instruct myself? No, it's too bad. Honestly, doing faith doesn't seem to help her. She's too high. I should do something lower. Maybe flying. I do want her to become a pe- She just looks like a Pegasus Knight to me. Or authority, maybe. Plus. It's yeah, let's get you up, uh, Raphael. That was pretty good. Leone. What to give you? Bows? No. Heavy armor? Maybe. Or riding. You'd make a good paladin. Eventually. You are strong in it, too. Then again, authority would be fine, too. Let's help you with flying, maybe. Or horses, perhaps. You're good at both. Alright, let's begin the lecture. Hello, Lysithia. Sorcery is my natural talent. So it was inevitable that I'd choose to be a warlock. It's not easy, but no need to fear. I will never tire of studying reason. Ooh, focus on reason and faith. Oh, no, to focus on reason. Yeah, sure. 
But I'm gonna put you back onto faith eventually. Yes, finally. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye! Uh, goodbye! See, now she is just shy. The With Marianne, it's something much worse. Much less healthy. Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. She always looks so frazzled. I love it. What's terrifying? Ah! Please don't sneak up on me like that! That lady asked me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but strangers are just so nerve-wracking. We're not strangers anymore, are we, Bernadette? You never seem scared to me. Uh, she's always very timid, though. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. I don't know if I ever had felt scared around you. Oh, you have silver eyes. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here, and I have no idea why. Well, this is the first time you've been able to speak to me normally, but I'm glad. I'm happy about it, too. Will you join my class? When we first started out here, we had to do drills outside. I skipped those every chance I got. <laughs> it's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't It's hard to imagine know. you're a fighter. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. Aww. Even though you're not in my class, that's sweet. It's all right. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. Good, good. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. By the way, was that you singing in the greenhouse? <gasps> you were singing in the greenhouse? What? And red-handed. You saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? I probably just walked in on accident. She is. Oh, look at that pout face. Oh my god. Useless, worthless, unmarriageable. Yeah! Unmarriageable. Oh, Bernadette, I look forward to getting to know you. Probably. My efforts have borne fruit. And another day. Let's see. I would like. To certify some people if I could, but I probably can't. Oh yeah, I unlocked uh, master classes. I'm curious. Um, where they have Falcon Knights? Okay. Wyvern Lords, of course. Oh my god. If only. Not sure which I prefer. Falcon Knight. Who does Lance and Sword? Lance and Axe. Mortal Savant. Oh my god. Sword and Reason. This might be what uh, Lysithia becomes. A master who casts powerful magic and wields a sword with confidence and poise. The Mortal Savant is a force to be reckoned with. That is awesome. Great Knight, of course. 
badass horse with a goatee. Actually, this might uh, be perfect for uh, Hilda eventually. Bow Knight. Ooh, a Dark Knight. Reason, Lance, and Writing. I think um, this would be a good choice for uh, Sylvain, since he is a budding talent in Reason. Of course, I'm going to forget all this, but this one would be great for uh, uh, Marianne, being the uh, she has the buddy t but the talent in Lance, as well as uh, faith in writing. A grimory or grimory or something. An expert in all forms of magic. Ooh. Okay, maybe this would be better for Lysithia or Marianne. I think we could use the extra experience, so we're gonna battle. Um, yeah, we'll just route the bandits in mountains. Go. Is this the one I've done before? Yeah, this is the map I've done before. Just slightly different man ma bandit to make up. Slightly more powerful. Let's go ahead and uh I mean if there's any in if anything interesting happens, I'll show you a but I imagine this will be pretty boring otherwise. Whoops. Oh well. Alright. Some good and not so good levels. Some weapon training, all the like, and 3,600 gold. Excellent. Hmm, Hilda, the MVP. Yeah, the heavy armor guys were uh, troublesome. Birthday? Ooh, Claude's birthday. Hell yeah, let's host a tea party for him. What would he like? We'll do the cleansing tea. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I ran as fast as I could. <laughs> no problems, Claude. Thanks. It's so relaxing. This is lovely, isn't it? Gardening mishaps, cooking mishaps. Uh, let's do gardening mishaps. I'm counting on you. You're doing great work, capable comrades. I wonder if only one of the three is capable. Or if, um, requires, uh, or if two of them are good. You're such a mystery. Oh, you're the second person to say that. Blush. Oh. You think? It was a great tea time, but, uh, he didn't care for my blush. I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. Absolutely, Claude. Next birthday, how about? 